Hurricane Delta the record-tying named storm of 2020 to strike Louisiana, as well as the record-breaking storm to strike the United States. Hurricane Delta has made landfall in the U.S. state of Louisiana, which is still recovering from the damage caused by a previous hurricane in August. This is the tenth storm to make U.S. landfall so far this year, breaking a record that has stood since 1916. Delta hit Creole, Louisiana as a Category 2 hurricane on 9 October 2020. Delta formed from a tropical wave which was first monitored by the National Hurricane Center on October 1. Moving westward, the wave began to quickly organize and due to its imminent threat to land, it was designated potential tropical cyclone late on October 4. The next day, the system sufficiently organized and was designated as Tropical Depression, and soon thereafter, Tropical Storm Delta. Extremely rapid intensification ensued throughout October 5 into October 6, with Delta becoming a Category 4 hurricane within 28 hours of attaining Tropical Storm status. Schools and government offices shut their doors and officials in a dozen parishes called for evacuations. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards previously said that 2,400 National Guard personnel were being mobilized to help the state's residents. Many people left their homes to try to get out of the storm's path. The oil drilling companies of BP and BHP began evacuating non-essential personnel from their offshore platforms in the Gulf of Mexico. BHP also plans to shut production at its facilities by October 7. Tourists and visitors were ordered to leave Alabama's barrier islands as of October 6 while a state of emergency was also declared for the state. Parts of the state were already severely storm damaged from the more powerful Category 4 Hurricane Laura, which ripped through homes and uprooted trees when it hit. More than 6,000 people are still displaced and living in temporary accommodation, such as hotels, after their homes were destroyed. Streets in cities such as Lake Charles, which was particularly badly hit by Hurricane Laura, remain littered with debris. The storm brought power outages and downed trees in Cancun and Cozumel. A peak wind gust of 110 miles per hour, 175 kilometers per hour, was reported in Puerto Morelos, Quintana Roo, where the hurricane made landfall. Another wind gust of 106 miles per hour, 171 kilometers per hour, was reported in nearby Cancun. 25,000 customers in Texas and Louisiana lost power before Delta made landfall. That number soon rose to 740,000 as Delta pulled inland. Oil prices are expected to rise after the energy industry in the Gulf of Mexico shut down. Two people drowned in Florida as a result of Hurricane Delta. One drowning occurred in Pensacola where a 49-year-old man was caught in strong rip currents and another drowning occurred in Destin where a 19-year-old tourist drowned and another was rescued after they were caught in a rip current produced by Hurricane Delta. There has been an upward trend in rapid intensification events in the Atlantic Basin, consistent with expectations from climate change. Just when the record-setting 2020 Atlantic hurricane season seemed like it couldn't get any worse, Hurricane Delta exploded in the northwest one week ago, plotting a devastating course from the Yucatan Peninsula to the northern Gulf Coast causing a lot of destruction in and around the places it went through. If you liked our video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to get great content regularly.